Welcome to IT and Automation Academy. Today I will train you in super easy way in the form of story, how to troubleshoot PLC and DCS problem. The Dubai sun beat down on the refinery, casting long shadows and creating a shimmering mirage over the vast expanse of metal and machinery. An alarm shattered the morning calm. Ali felt a jolt in his gut. He sprinted towards the control room, his heart pounding in his chest. Inside, chaos reigned, red lights flashed, sirens wailed, and operators shouted, their faces etched with concern. The PLC, normally a beacon of green, was a sea of red. Production had stopped. Ali's blood ran cold. This was bad, very bad. Ali took a deep breath. Panic wouldn't help. He grabbed his hard hat, safety glasses, and gloves. Safety wasn't negotiable, not in this environment. He reminded the team, safety first, everyone. We need to be calm, methodical, and most importantly, safe. They nodded, understanding in their eyes. They'd been here before. They knew the drill. Ali's most important tools weren't wrenches or screwdrivers, but his mind and his experience. He gathered the team, a mix of seasoned veterans and bright-eyed newcomers. First things first, he announced. We need information. He listened intently as the operators described the moments before the shutdown. Every detail mattered. Every observation could be a clue. Let's see what the PLC is trying to tell us, Ali said, his eyes scanning the panel. He pointed to a series of LEDs, each blinking a different color. These are like the PLC's vital signs. They give us clues. He checked the power supply, the first suspect in any electrical problem. The voltage was steady. That was a good sign. The problem lay deeper. The PLC's error log was a jumble of alphanumeric codes. To the untrained eye, it was gibberish, but to Ali, it was a language he understood. He scrolled through the entries, his brow furrowed in concentration. Each code represented a specific fault, a piece of the puzzle. He jotted down the codes, his mind racing to connect the dots. Connections and communications. It could be a communication issue, Ali muttered, tracing the network cables with his finger. The PLC relied on a network of sensors and actuators, all communicating in perfect harmony. A break in the chain could bring the whole system down. He meticulously checked each connection, ensuring everything was secure and free of damage. Section 8. Testing. One module at a time. The I.O. modules responsible for receiving and sending signals were next on Ali's list. He systematically tested each module using a handheld programmer to send and receive test signals. His eyes darted back and forth between the programmer and the PLC, looking for any sign of life. The tension in the room was palpable. Section 9. Back to the drawing board. Hours passed, the sun had long set, casting a shadow over the oil refinery. The hum of machinery was the only sound that broke the silence of the night. Ali had exhausted every troubleshooting step he could think of, yet the problem persisted. Frustration gnawed at him. He had checked every connection, every wire and every piece of equipment. Nothing seemed to work. The pressure was mounting and the clock was ticking. He took a deep breath, reminding himself to stay calm. In moments like these, clarity was his best ally. He knew that losing his cool would only make things worse. He needed to approach the problem with a clear mind and a steady hand. Sometimes the most obvious solution was the one you overlooked. Ali had learned this lesson the hard way many times before. He decided to take a step back and look at the problem from a different angle. Maybe there was something he had missed. He sat down, a fresh cup of coffee in hand, and began reviewing the PLC program line by line. The aroma of the coffee filled the room, providing a small comfort in the midst of his frustration. He knew that the answer was in the code, he just had to find it. And then he saw it, a tiny detail that had eluded him before. It was like a light bulb going off in his head. He couldn't believe he had missed it. A single line of code out of place. It was so small, so insignificant, yet it had caused all this trouble. He felt a mix of relief and frustration. Relief that he had found the problem and frustration that it had taken him so long. A minor programming error easily missed. It was a reminder of how important attention to detail was in his line of work. One small mistake could have huge consequences. 
He made a mental note to be more thorough in the future. He quickly corrected the error and re-uploaded the program to the PLC. His hands moved with precision and confidence. He had done this a thousand times before, but this time felt different. This time he knew he had found the solution. The moment of truth had arrived. Ali held his breath as he waited for the system to reboot. The seconds felt like hours. He watched the screen intently, waiting for the confirmation that everything was back to normal. And then, finally, it came. The system was up and running and the problem was fixed. Ali let out a sigh of relief. It had been a long and challenging night, but he had done it. He had solved the problem and saved the day. Ali have documented his step-by-step -step approach to fix the problem. Do you want to know his documented steps? I found his the 20-step approach summary. Let's recap the 20 steps to PLC troubleshooting that Ali followed. Ensure safety by shutting down and locking out machinery. Gather initial information about the issue. Check the power supply for the PLC. Inspect LEDs and indicators for error signals. Review error codes and logs. Check wiring and connections for any issues. Test input, output, I.O. modules. Review and re-upload the PLC program. Power up and test the system. Document the issue and resolution steps. Verify sensor operations. Examine communication modules. Check for environmental factors affecting the PLC. Inspect network connections. Validate the PLC configuration settings. Perform a firmware update if needed. Test the PLC's response to inputs. Ensure all safety interlocks are functioning. Conduct a system-wide test after troubleshooting. Schedule regular maintenance to prevent future issues. Do you know what was the result of Ali efforts? The PLC hummed back to life. The red lights fading to green. It was a sight that brought immense relief to everyone present. The transition from red to green was more than just a change in color. It was a signal that the crisis had been averted. A collective sigh of relief swept through the control room. Engineers and technicians exchanged glances, their faces reflecting the tension that had been building up over the past few hours. The room, which had been filled with anxious whispers and hurried movements, now settled into a calm, almost serene atmosphere. Ali leaned back in his chair, a tired smile spreading across his face. He had done it. The weight of the responsibility he had carried was now lifting, replaced by a sense of accomplishment. His mind replayed the steps he had taken, each decision, each calculation, leading to this moment of success. He had saved the day. The thought echoed in his mind, bringing with it a wave of pride. It wasn't just about fixing a machine, it was about ensuring the safety and efficiency of the entire operation. His colleagues' relieved expressions were a testament to the importance of his work, but his work wasn't over yet. Ali knew that in this industry, every solution needed to be documented meticulously. He turned to his computer, fingers flying over the keyboard, as he recorded every detail of the troubleshooting process. Each step, each observation was noted down with precision. He meticulously documented every step of the troubleshooting process, ensuring the next time the solution would be just a few clicks away. This documentation was not just for him, but for the entire team. It was a way to share knowledge to ensure that future challenges could be met with the same efficiency. The plant manager clapped Ali on the back. His gesture was one of genuine appreciation. In an industry where every second counts, Ali's quick thinking and expertise had made a significant difference. Good work, son, he said. The words were simple, but they carried a weight of mentorship and encouragement. Ali had always looked up to his mentor, and this acknowledgement meant the world to him. You've got a bright future ahead of you. The plant manager's words resonated with Ali. He'd always been passionate about his work, but hearing these words from someone he respected deeply was incredibly motivating. Ali nodded, the satisfaction of a job well done washing over him. He took a moment to reflect on the journey that had brought him here. The late nights of studying, the hands-on training, the countless hours spent learning the intricacies of the machinery, all of it had led to this moment. He knew this was just the beginning. The oil and gas industry was ever-evolving, with new challenges and opportunities arising every day. Ali felt a renewed sense of purpose, ready to tackle whatever came next. The oil and gas industry was full of challenges and he was ready to face them all, one problem at a time. With each challenge, he knew he would grow stronger, more knowledgeable and more capable. The future was bright and Ali was ready to embrace it with open arms.